risky vlogging right now. Oh my crap. Do it for the vlog. We are already in our last stop here in Turkey en route to Cappadocia. Not yet at the city, but we're starting to get in the region and they are known for these kinds of rocks. Now, I came here and I happened to bring down my vlog camera and I just realized this is actually a photo spot I've been wanting to take a photo of. I'm not in the mood to take photos because look at my outfit. It's like, uh, we are at a monastery, so people used to live here for, I think, religious enlightenment. Here we have an interesting hike. Hi, hi, hi. Oh, one missed up. So apparently this one for us for Christianity and in this monastery people would teach the Bible, we'll have lessons. I can totally see why people would go here for a treat. It's really isolated, but gorgeous views. I can imagine how much you can think while you're up here. And then this is the church. We are on a hike right now. It's so hot, but it's been a nice break. So we still have 3.7 kilometers to go because this whole path has a lot of churches. Apparently it's a 25 kilometer valley with at least 20 churches here. The message is uh, for ladies, right? How to behave. Well, the first one you should uh, watch out what you're saying and not gossip. The other one is breastfeeding. You should breastfeed your child. That means that's so important for them. This is Serpent Church because of those serpent wall drawings you just saw on those walls. It just astounds me how there are so many just churches in these nooks and crannies in the middle of a valley. So there you can see the words Ilara and that's basically their Hollywood sign. But now we have to go all the way to the top of this canyon because that's where the exit is. It might be 300 steps and I'm already tired. I actually skipped the third church because I don't know. A girl's got to rest. It's gonna echo. Listen, okay? Hola! Wait, I can do better. <laughs> We're back in the car and I have treated myself to an ice cream sandwich. I've been eating so much ice cream this trip, it's been so hot. But I just haven't been working out this week, so you know what? Might as well just be in a binge week. We are going into the underground city. Wait, 20,000 people used to live in a In one underground city. <laughs> they built underground cities because it was easy for them to build this, like all of it. And uh, they, were, they used to live under the ground. And so that wild animals in the region cannot attack any of them. Like before Christ, uh, 4th, 5th century, or even earlier period, they born here, they died here without seeing the daylight. It is so cool down here naturally. Like, I no, was sweating in the air the whole entire day. Still haven't changed clothes. And suddenly I'm here and it's so cool but that it's freezing. I'm, 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 just, I'm about to get sick. Look at how tight this is. This is like caving. I'm so cold and my brother's always warm because he's chubby. Yeah, it's a nice way of saying it. This is seven stories deep. We have reached the ventilation room. It's impressive, seven stories deep. And I'm still breathing fine. I'll be in a little bit. Except him. I can't stand straight or I'll hit the I'll hit the ceiling. Oh my god. So people here have an average life expectancy of 30 oh to 35. Because they didn't have vitamin D. So this is gonna be interesting. We are staying at a cave hotel for the next three nights. So when you go in, there's an extra bed, which I'm probably gonna stay on. Then we have the main bed, which I think they're gonna split into two because nobody wants kicking. The TV, the amenities. Oh, okay, well as expected, that was the Closet, table, and mirror, bathroom. It's very spacious. We got the pink aesthetic going on here, you know, we toilet, and the shower. But when we leave the room, we go straight into the courtyard. 
We are in Monks Valley right now, which is where Christians used to live. They say these look like mushrooms, but you know, for being real, I don't, <laughs> I don't want to make this channel dirty, but there are so many inappropriate jokes that I could make right now. But this is a holy place, so we're gonna keep it PG. I woke up at 3.15 a.m. Literally, I've been dead the past two hours, but suddenly I'm super excited because we are going to go on a hot air balloon ride. Here in Cappadocia, you've probably seen the photos. This is one of the most popular hot air balloon spots. It took a while to convince my family, but we're doing it right now, and we're rushing now. I feel like a re-live drone. Oh, oh we were so close down. Red Wooly. Red and Red. Oh. We just landed the hot air balloon. Okay, first of all, it was very impressive how they landed the hot air balloon because they landed it right uh, in the extension part of the car. Like, imagine. Catherine? Oh. Okay, thank you. 6 a.m. and we finished our mimosas, though I think it wasn't, there wasn't alcohol. And now we have cake because it was someone's birthday. I went back to sleep straight up at 8.30 and I slept until 10.30, so I'm feeling a bit better. We are in Zalba Valley here in Cappadocia. You will notice that there are a lot of these stone structures, which were monasteries, churches, and even houses for people back then. We're at Three Beauties and there's three mushroom chimneys. The idea is that's the mom, that's the dad, and the child is over there. on a horse safari right now. It's kind of a last minute Black. decision. <laughs> My brother is up on the horse. This is some very risky vlogging right now. I'm on a horse on one Oh my grab. Do it for the vlog. visiting the capital of Turkey right now, Ankara, more specifically the mausoleum of Ataturk, which is Turkey's national hero, so this is a big thing. Probably one of the main attractions here. And we're gonna wrap up this turkey vlog, so if you are watching this far, thank you. All right, everyone's running over, because like, look at everyone run over right now to catch the soldiers marching. <laughs> This is Ertunga. You've seen him in my vlogs. He's an amazing tour guide. He showed my family around Turkey. And if you guys are coming to Turkey and want to go on a private tour that's customizable, I'll link it down below. Yay! Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, of course. You can't be loose and set me free.